this is kind of funny. So this was a piece that was on the original and <clears throat> I removed this once and put it back. So you can see like the nails here, there's multiple in there. They're different types. Like this is different from that. Cause I think the original guy used probably a air nailer, Brad nailer with air power. But see the thing that's interesting is he made this a 45 degree cut, right? <clears throat> Over here, he didn't do a 45 degree. It's like he he trimmed that off so it would it would match up like that. And that's like that's like a really good match. I don't know how he did it. So me trying to figure it out, I used uh, one of these saws, used a Dremel tool <laughs> and my knife trying to get a right angle and it's still I mean it's okay but it's not that good and originally I thought all it was was I thought he used a miter saw to do a 45 like that and then a 45 like that and I thought that was what he did he cut it with a miter saw uh, so that's what I did I you know literally I cut 45 angle here and a 45 angle there and cut it like that and it didn't fit so I don't know how the guy did that. I don't know, but it's it's like he did a really good job. And it's like perfect. Mine is gapped. And you can see part of that gap is because this was the, the original miter saw cut. But it's okay, That's I'm gonna use it like this. <clears throat> and what I'll do is um, I'll drill three holes with the drill and then I'll just put those finishing nails in it and just tack it up. I got two neighbors that uh, they're saying, oh, I'm going to turn my knee. I got two neighbors that have air nailers and they're like, hey, you can borrow my nailer. And I'm like, nah, I'll just do it like this. So we'll go, go up and put it up and I'll show you what it looks like.